Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon on my Primetime Walkthrough channel, here with another Pokemon Black walkthrough. We just got done battling trainers on Route 10. We have a couple more to battle here before we head into the badge check gates, where we'll check all the badges we need to get in order to reach Victory Road. And I do have all eight of them, so I should be able to head up to Victory Road. And then we'll see how far we can get on Victory Road within this video. So there's two trainers I have to battle still. Ace Trainer Cheyenne and then Veteran Chester. And then there's eight gates to go through to reach Victory Road. And each one you have to talk to the gatekeeper and show them that you have the specified badge. We use Slash against Sawsbuck. There we go. Oh, I thought it knocked it out. He slashed again, though. Starting to get some of the Pokemon that I haven't even battled yet, so that'll add to my Pokedex. We'll use Surf against this Pokemon. Jellicent. Ooh, that was a bad choice right there. So it's raining. I will try Slash. Uh, that's what I figured. It doesn't affect Jellicent, so I'm going to have to switch out to Kabalion. I'll give it one more go with Revenge. See if it, that does anything. Nope. So I'll have to put in Kabalion and use Sacred Sword. That's one bad thing about having all the Pokemon in your party that have the HMs. You don't really have any other strong Pokemon. I didn't train any of those Pokemon with HMs on them. So let's see. Sacred Sword. Oh, it doesn't affect Jellicent either. So this is just like Frillish. Okay, so we'll try and use Iron Head. There we go. We'll put back in Samrot and use Surf. There we go. Knocked it out pretty easily. I don't know what I was thinking about that I just didn't use Surf again. I was thought to myself it wasn't very uh, effective, so I thought, oh, I might as well switch it out with another move. Oh, my repel wore off. Now I'm facing veteran Chester, and that'll be the last trainer I have to battle before I get to the badge check gates. Three Pokemon for Chester. Bear Tick is the first. So you slash. And when I do battle the Elite Four, I'll have Cobalion, Virizion, Tornadus, Samurott, and then hopefully Terrakion. Once I catch that in Victory Cave. Seismitoad is next. And I'll show you where everything is in on Victory Road. That's what I meant, not Victory Cave. Victory Road is a series of caves. Last Pokemon is Escavalier, or Escavalier. We'll try Surf on it. There we go. Escavalier is knocked out. Veteran Chester has been defeated. So now we're going to head 
through this gate here and head through eight more of them. So the first thing badge that you need is the trio badge to go through here. So you just keep walking forward and the guard will say, well, hey, hold, unqualified one shall not pass. I have the trio badge, so I'll pass through. The next badge needed is the basic badge. So you can just do the same thing. You can run up here. Insect badge is the next badge needed. And I better put a max repel on real quick as soon as I get done battling Herdier here. Level 39 Herdier, not bad. Now I know on Victory Road there is a trainer there that will heal your Pokemon, so you don't necessarily have to use a Max Potion or anything. So I'm going to use the Max Repel. Probably should have went the other way. I was way at the bottom of the list. I probably would have just had to push down a couple times and it would have went to the top of the list. Instead, I pushed up and went through all of the list. So now we're good. As soon as I run out of that way. Insect badge, like I was saying. The next badge needed to pass would be the bolt badge. Quake badge is next. And you can actually go back and you can talk to this person if you want. Just informing me about having the Quake badge, and without it, I couldn't proceed. Jet badge is required there. Next would be the Freeze badge. Next is the Legend badge. Oop. And that is the final badge to get to Victory Road. So I better get pumped up to go to Victory Road. The final road to the Pokemon League. So now I'm Victory Road right there. And as you can see, it's a series of caves that you can go in and out of. Steep cliffs spotted with caves. So we'll just go in right here, right away. And we're gonna try and get everything that it's possible to get in here. So we're gonna need surf in here, and we're gonna surf on here. And go up to the top left of this cave and get an item. Max revive. The items you can get in Victory Road are TM-02 Dragon Claw, TM-12 Taunt, TM-93 Wild Charge. So I was wrong with about Ice Beam, you must get that after you beat the Elite Four. So now we're going to go up this way. We're here, so we're going to do a few things. There's a trainer to battle. You actually can't use Strength there, you have to be coming from the other way to use Strength to push that boulder there. So we're based battling Ace Trainer Shanta. Whimsicott. Not a good choice of moves again.
Now I'll use Slash. I'll use Mega Drain. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage to Samurott. It might knock it out. Nope. Not yet. No, I won't switch out for Zip Striker. And we'll use Surf. So I'm gonna have to use probably a Max Potion just because I won't be able to get my Pokemon healed too soon. That's not a big deal. I have plenty of winnings. So I can just go ahead and buy more max potions later on. So I'll use a max potion here. I'll use it on Samurott. It'll restore quite a bit of HP. 216 points. So now we're going to go back outside here. So now we're a little higher up, and what you can do is where, I was just going to say, you can slide down the cliff like that, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to slide down the cliff, and then we're going to go into another entrance on that first level. So, just like this, you can slide down it, and go over here, there's actually, go in here, and then... We can get another item, so we're going to use Surf again. You can actually walk right around this lake, but it will just go this way. And there's the item across the little pond there. A rare candy. Then we go across. And go out this exit right here. And now there's two X's out of here. You either can battle a trainer. Or you can go another way. And that'll go to. I believe it'll go. It will go. Probably back outside. Yes it does go back outside. So what we're going to do now is. We're not going to go to this one that goes back outside. But we're going to go to the other the other exit here. We're going to go to right up here. Whoop, not right there. We're actually going to go up those stairs as you can see over there. So we're going to use another Max Repel. We'll go up these stairs and then we can battle a trainer. And that's probably going to where we're going to end the video. We're going to battle, I believe it is, Ace Trainer Dwayne. This looks like Stoutland here. We'll use Surf on it. There we go. So we defeated Ace Trainer Dwayne. We're going to head out right here. So what you want to do is when you come out from battling Ace Trainer Dwayne, you want to go to the right here. You want to slide down here and then grab this item and then we'll, which is TM12 Taunt, and then we'll continue on with Victory Road in the next walkthrough video. So thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.